Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to take a look at the 2018 Coleman Light 2125BH. This is a great shorter bunk model. You have the double over double bunks and the campside dinette with a Murphy bed. Let's start on that dinette. So I, t I talk about this all the time in my videos and nothing has changed. I still love when manufacturers give you a campside dinette. And the reason is simple because when I'm sitting here having my morning coffee or eating my breakfast, this is the view I want folks. I want to look out this window out to my campsite, not stare out at my neighbors. Also, if you need additional sleeping space, this does drop down into a bed. You just remove the legs right here, and then the table drops right down, sits along the rails. Take these back cushions, throw them on top, and you are good to go. Doesn't create a huge bed, but it is great if you have children that are sleeping here, or if you need to set up a pack and play, it's a great spot for it there as well. Uh, if you take a look underneath, you'll see LED lights here to help brighten it up at night. You also have an electrical outlet there, so if you need to plug in cell phones or anything while I sit at the table, you can do that. If you take a look right up here, folks, you have a couple different things. On the one side, you will see you have your control panel there, nice and easy to access. You have your, uh, your water pump, your heater, your lights your awning and your tank monitoring panel all right up top. I like the fact it's high, that way uh, kiddos can't get in there and start messing with everything. Also right over here on this side is your multimedia center. This does control the speakers in here as well as the ones outside. It's Bluetooth capable as well. And then if we take a look up top, you'll see you have some extra storage there, which is nice. For me, a great spot for either plates that we can just take them down, put them on the table, or maybe even board games. If you're a big board game player, we go camping, that's a pretty good spot for them there too. Over to the side here, if you want TV, of course you don't have to have it. You know, you can put a picture or something here instead. But if you want TV, they do have a backer here so you know exactly where to mount it and then the connections are there for you. Take a look in the very back. As I mentioned, folks, this is a bunk model. So. This in the industry is what we call a double over double, meaning that both these bunks, as you can see, are double wide. Great thing about that is if you have smaller kids that you know want to sleep in here, you can sleep two kids to a bunk. Or if you have older kids to go camping, or maybe you're just taking it for a weekend out with just adults, even adults can sleep in here because it has a 300 pound weight capacity. Same thing underneath, you'll see nice big bunk there. LED lights in both the top and bottom. You also have windows in both the top and bottom bunks. Right back here, outside the bathroom, you see the thermostat. This does just control the furnace. The AC is roof mounted, but the controls for that are on the AC itself. And when we go right back here in the bathroom, you see your foot flush lever toilet right there. And then on the other side of that, you have a nice big tub shower. I like having tubs when you have bunk models just because it's a little bit easier for the kids to take a bath if they still, you know, if they're still taking baths and not use the showers, you don't have to try to disrupt things while you're camping. If we take a look over to this side, you can see the nice big countertop here as well as the cubby hole. You have your sink with storage underneath. And then if you take a look up top, you will see you also have a mirrored medicine cabinet there. As we step out of the bathroom, you will notice right over here, you have excellent pantry space. Now you do have some options. You can obviously use this for pantry if you need it. Another option though would be to use it for kids clothes because the bunks are right across the way so you can put a bunch of folded clothes in there. Moving further into the kitchen, right up top here, you see you have some good additional storage there. And if we take a look underneath, that is your Norcold fridge freezer. So. Plenty of space in there as well. You have the drawer underneath with the glass top so you can actually see what's down in the drawer, which is cool. And this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Moving forward into the kitchen itself, you'll see right up top is the microwave storage across the way here. So that's some good extra storage there. Perfect for some of your food items. Underneath is your hood with a light and a fan two burner cooktop, and then they give you the big double bowl sink. I like that they give you the big double sink in here. You still have a little bit of prep space if you need it, and you can put a sink top cover on here nice and easily so you can utilize that too. You see the high rise faucet there, and the beautiful thermal formed countertops. This is a big upgrade over what you generally see, especially in this size 
excuse me, camper. Generally, it has the T-mold, and especially around the corners, that T-mold will pop out. There's not a seam here, folks. This is all one thermoformed piece, so you don't have to worry about that happening. You'll continue to have these beautiful countertops. It also allows for an undermounted sink, which I really like. If we take a look underneath here, you will notice two full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have one for your silverware, another one for some of your larger utensils. Direct vent furnace right there. I showed you the thermostat of where that is controlled. And then if we take a look underneath the sink, you will notice you have more storage there. As far as plugins are concerned, if you take a look right under here, right by this LED light, you will see there's a plug-in right there, so that way you can plug in any electronics. If you're a coffee person, plug in your coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever else you need there. Now up front here is the Murphy bed. Currently I have it extended 60 by 80 Murphy bed, folks. So if you're a taller person, you can sleep in here without your feet hanging off, which is awesome. Uh, in order to make the bed up, essentially all you have to do is just curl this mattress up, just like so kind of tucks behind like that. Now granted you won't have the bag on there so it's a little bit easier. Then this front part here lifts up just like that. You can then lock it in place. Make sure you turn it off the LED lights behind it and then you can just jackknife the sofa, put the armrest back in and you are good to go. On the sides here you will see some wardrobe storage shelf up top hanging rod there and then right down below you have electrical outlets in case you need to plug in any phones or if you have a CPAP machine you can put that on either side of the bed. Now that we've seen the insides take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light 2125BH. Right up front here you have your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover simply undo those two thumb screws lift up the door and you are in. And then behind that you see you have rails there for your battery and coming up the front, you have this black etched plating, which helps protect some of the, or helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Take a look at this, folks. That's a big deal. If you're looking to buy a new RV, you want to make sure you are buying from a manufacturer that stands behind their product. And Coleman has the industry best three-year structural warranty. That's pretty darn good. Right over here, you will see you have solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels. Plug it in right there, it's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. As far as front storage, you can see you have this big open pass-through right here, which is awesome. You'll also notice the aluminum up top because, you know, this is a laminated product, so you have the aluminum structure. And an LED light that goes all the way across, lighting up that entire pass-through. Big power awning on here, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in, also has an LED light strip on there and adjustable pitch. If you take a look at this side right here, folks, you will notice you don't have any vents here, which is awesome. So that way, this entire uh, camp side right here is all great usable camp space. Getting into the coach is pretty simple. You have two foldable steps with the grab handle right there. Open it up and you are in. Uh, if we take a look at the screen door, you know, this is something that's minor, but again, it's kind of a cool feature in my opinion. So growing up, right, you always had to slide this over so you could hit the lever to be able to open and close the door. Now they have this thing where it's super easy. You just put your finger in here and push it down. And just like that, folks, you can open the door without ever having to slide this open. So that way you don't get a bunch of bugs and stuff flying in there. Making our way back a little bit further here, if you take a look up top, you see the two outside speakers. As I mentioned inside, those are controlled by that multimedia center. That unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can sit out here underneath your awning in some chairs, use your smartphone or tablet and be able to operate the music there. This window is the window I showed you inside too. That is your dinette right there. Right down below, these, this one does have easy lube axles. They have the caps on there. If you take the caps off, uh, you'll see a little greaser you can pump some grease into. It's just easier than constantly having to repack the bearings. Right outside, you have an electrical outlet here. And then my favorite part about having a bunk model is the outside kitchen. Folks, I love this, especially this one. Uh, the reason I like this is it's a little bit shorter. A lot of times your outside kitchens are really high and they can be kind of tough to use. Not the case, you'll see it's a nice low uh, prep surface here. So, you know, my wife, she's not quite as tall as I am. She can use this a little bit easier. Also, you have the sink here if you need water access. It's just a little dump basin, easy enough to use. Fill it up with water, dump it out, you're good to go. The cool thing about this though, what I've done before, is you can actually take this basin, take it out, set it down on your picnic table, 
and you know put some water in there. Now you can take all your silverware, toss it right in, and that way your uh, silverware is soaking, makes it just nice and easy to wash. So it does have some versatility there by not being hard plumbed in. Of course, this whole thing obviously slides in, just unlock it. Storage right up top there, great spot to put some of your cups, you know, uh, paper plates, things like that. And naturally, you have the outside fridge here as well. So that way you can put your, you know, ketchup and mustard out there. If you have some pop, you know, beer, whatever, you can put it out there as well. Again, you have the slam latch door here with the magnet. Right here on the back side, you'll see this arm here. This actually swings out and around in the Coleman grill that comes with the unit sets on there. That tank, of course, uses your small little green Coleman tanks, but it's great that you have the little cooktop here so that way you can cook outside without stinking up the camper. That, as well as your spare tire, are mounted on your four inch uh, square tubular bumper so that way you can store your sewer hose in there. And uh, speaking of the spare tire, that guy's right over here. Notice it does have the cover on here to help keep it in good shape and being mounted right back here, folks. If you ever have to use it, it's probably one of the easiest spots to get to. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or get underneath the camper to access the spare. Take a look at the top and center there. You will also notice this one has backup camera prep. It's not a huge camper, but it is decent size. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to install, meaning it'll save you a lot of money on labor. On the off door side here, take a look right down below. You see the termination. Both your gray and black tank valves are right there. This one does just have the single termination. Right up top is your city water inlet. So if you have city water at the campsite, that's where you hook it up. Cable or satellite inlet right there. Coming up a little bit further, if you're doing boondocking and need to fill the fresh water tank, that is where you will fill that. And then right in front of that is your 30 amp power cord. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Coleman Light 2125BH. If you're interested in this bunk model travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.